Go for it. Right. Hello, and uh, welcome back to the Lang's 60 Day Reboot. Josh, Hello. Laura. Yes. And uh, we want to give you our update for our progress and then give you a tip and a question that we were going to answer for you. So, how are you doing? I'm great. I'm sorry I missed last night, everyone. The problem is, is that my husband's an idol and me not so much. So while I'm waiting to do the blog, I usually fall asleep. <laughs> she was out cold last night. It's so. not my fault. It was midnight. <laughs> anyway, but I missed you dearly. I cried regularly today. and She's lying. Yeah. I do that sometimes. So, <laughs> did you lose any weight? Oh, sorry. Yeah, that part too. So I think Josh told you yesterday I lost three pounds. Today I lost a pound. Yay. So I think... Thanks to my lovely Aunt Brenda. Um, I and have, your loving husband. Oh, and my loving husband. <gasps> that we found, <laughs> poor thing, the secret that my body does not like carbs and I need to be really careful about how much I do take in. I think your body does like carbs. Yeah, like storing them. Mm -hmm. I don't like them on me. Yes, that's true. But really exciting. I loved going to the gym today and my stomach is smaller and I feel smaller, I feel healthier, I just, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I feel, I feel a lot better, so. I lost one more pound today, so while it doesn't seem like too much, which is, but I'm just glad that it's been a pretty steady loss. I've only plateaued a couple of the days of this fast and I've been averaging at least one pound a day. So I'm at 27 pounds down for um, a total, I'm, you know, I'm down at 255 now. Mm -hmm. I used to be at 282. So I'm praying and hoping that by the end of this week I'll be in the 240s. Mm -hmm. So. Well, I know that I've only lost four pounds on this diet. But if you count the, what, 13 pounds that I lost in December and then the four mm -hmm. now, 17, that's not doing too bad. No, no. And for, I for mean, a girl. And if you think about what we're losing, I mean, her goal is about 50 pounds, my goal is about 100 pounds. So every two pounds I lose is equivalent to about one pound that she's going to lose. So. Think about it that way too. She's doing a really great job. So. No, thanks. So you want to share about why that was significant, or what you learned about? Did you want to share about that? About what? About the three pounds and your journey to the carbs. Did you already share that? Okay, whatever. I already shared that. Uh, the tip of the day <laughs> is. The tip of the day. Well, I was just gonna. A lot of people have asked about the kids. So the kids have been on these lovely Melaleuca vitamins for a while. Thanks to my mother-in-law, she's um, a Melaleuca member, and they're really good multivitamins. And they're just chewable. And um, the kids I, like them a lot. I think the boys thinks they're think they're candy. Emma, right. strangely enough, just in the last year, doesn't like them all that well because Melaleuca changed their formula and said a little koalas are now paws. <laughs> but they're great, whatever. So she eats them. Um, the other thing I picked up today was a couple different things that we're going to try. Um, I found out they have these homeopathic things to calm your kids down. And we could sure use some <laughs> tranquil children. That's what it says. Tranquil child, organs wild harvest, and they're little drops. We were a little angry that we didn't find this about <laughs> three years ago. But uh, anyway, or six years ago. But And then there's calm, Calm's Forte. It's a little thing that you can put, they put underneath their tongue. And they tried it tonight. They really liked it. We're going to see how it goes. This, the exciting thing about it is it helps with kids that are really restless at bedtime, but also have like nightmares. And, you know, if they have a nightmare, it just helps them naturally calm down. So we're going to give it a whirl and see how it works. Because um, we've had a lot of nightmares around here. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. Anyway, the other thing is I got some organic um, suckers today. A good friend of mine at church has her little boy on these, and they're dye-free, and they're organic, and they're just a little bit healthier. They're yummy earth organic, and they come like in blueberry cream. So we're going to give that a whirl. Um, mm -hmm. And I, I think that yeah. what Laura was finding out today is that just going around and like exploring in actually yours what they have um, is really kind of neat because they have all sorts of things that are organic, which means they're really good for your kids. And, and what we're thinking as we're thinking about a family, how do we kind of transition what our current eating habits have been to the new eating habits is just thinking how do you put healthy things in your body and so oh i should tell them about how i trick the kids tonight oh uh, but but just yeah. to say like oh, it, it's just nice <laughs> when we talk about being healthy to then help your kids to eat healthy and of course they're just going to mm -hmm. eat what you feed them and so the nice the, the thing that you can do the things that you can do to really encourage that is actually get them to the stuff that's healthy so we fed them organic apples today and they loved them. They were just great. So, um, and then 
Well, and apples are a part of the dirty dozen. They found them to have a, what, to 60 different pesticides it's like number on one, an isn't apple. It? Mm, number it is. One. On the dirty dozens. Google dirty dozen if you haven't seen it yet. Um, Thanks, but, Katie Dirty. Yeah. Um, strawberries. I forget what else is on Brown, there. Brown, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it's amazing how many pesticides they actually find on these vegetables fruits and vegetables and it's not that they're just on the skin but because of osmosis you know I mean it's a it's a fluid thing it's going to creep into your fruit and you're feeding it mm -hmm. to your kids but the way that I tricked the kids tonight was actually really fun mm -hmm. um, I've been doing smoothies for a long time so occasionally when I have a smoothie with yogurt or fruit or whatever I'll let the kids have a little sample well tonight I was thinking how can I work the extra vegetable in mm -hmm. and so I pulled out the strawberry yogurt and threw in some ice um, what else did I throw in there I'm trying to remember I remember peas. the secret ingredient. Pe peas was my favorite one. I threw peas in and then blackberries because the night before they'd had blackberries. And then I put milk in there and smoothied it up. Mm -hmm. They loved it. It turned out purple. I was scared it was going to turn out brown because of the peas. But it turned out purple, which they thought was really cool. And they drank it. And they didn't know peas were <laughs> in there. <laughs> so feel free to be creative with your kids like that. They thought they were having ice cream. Because it changed the texture of it as well. So... Um, wanted to answer a question that many have asked. We didn't get an official question of this, but are we tired or more tired when we're doing this diet? And I want to say that what we are at night, usually when we're doing this vlog, is not representative of how we actually feel during the day. Because I want to just give you an example. Last night I went to bed pretty late after doing the video and then um, but was, was awoken four times throughout the night by the kids got up pretty early this morning and the tranquil drops <laughs> and um, today I was just realizing I was full of energy for the majority of today I was feeling alive awake mentally I was there with my reading and those kind of things and it was just really exciting to actually be energetic when normally I would just be dead mm -hmm. and dragging through the whole day and I know many of you have talked about in your normal eating habits you're just dragging when it gets to the afternoon those kind of things that's not the case with this diet and that's why I love what we're doing and I don't really even call it a diet but we'll call it for that name for, for what we're saying right here is this diet really helps because not only are you getting healthier and you're losing weight but you're feeling more energy as you go along and we really want to attest to that that this is great yeah. so well I was talking with Angela a friend of mine at church the other day and she just was saying how she's having a really hard time keeping up with her kids and I was saying well that's why honestly I mean yeah I want to lose weight I want to be healthier blah blah but my main reason was <laughs> I really wanted to keep up with my kids I've been so tired you know I get to their nap time and I just want to lay down and take a nap and um, Joe Cross was saying how much more energy he had and mm -hmm. so and it's really really true I know we look tired late at night but people keep saying Laura if I tap you will you fall over and I'm like no see she didn't fall over sturdy she can hold on so uh, yep yeah, we'll leave you on we actually have a seminar coming up on Saturday if you'd like to join us at 10 a.m. at naturally yours so come here about, what are we going to talk about? Do you know? I don't remember, but we'll tell you tomorrow. We'll tell you tomorrow. So. After I check my planner. And uh, yeah, <laughs> continue to, uh, we'd love to hear more questions that you have or comments. Thanks so much for all of you for supporting us. Um, I know that these are, uh, we're making a lot of videos, but we really appreciate those of you who are watching. Gerilyn, thanks from Idaho. You're awesome. We love you. And uh, thanks for watching all of our stuff. So. Your baby, you need some tranquil I drops. know. I actually don't think I need any of that right now. <laughs>